Hi, I'm Matt Roy from Blue Ocean. Sorry, I scratch my head. Okay. Hi, I'm Matt Roy from Blue Ocean Benefits and Consulting. Today, we're going to talk about what you should do about your health coverage as an employee during a recession. Okay, so we have had one quarter of negative growth. If we have one more quarter, which it might happen, um, then we'll be technically in a recession. However, that's a weird recession this year um, in that there are still sort of open jobs available. Normally recessions, you, you start to see a recession come uh, with some layoffs, big layoffs from big companies start to lay people off and the next one and then the next one and the next one. And that's usually what drives us in a recession. But this is a little different of a recession, obviously with COVID and inflation, but you know, it still might be a recession and it might, who knows, it could turn into a worse one because of that. So it, it's sort of uncharted territory, but if we go into recession, you obviously know if you're watching this around the time I'm making this video that gasoline averages $5 a gallon, right? So that if you drive at all, that really is impacting your, your wages, your actual take home pay, right? You gotta go to the gas station. So gas is really important part of, of reducing your take home pay, but so, so are health benefits. A lot of us pay a lot of money for health benefits. So uh, it, it's, it's a really short video today. It's really just about if your open enrollment is soon and it's June. So even that even includes an open enrollment for January. They're gonna ask you in November, December to, to start making your healthcare plans choices. Get thinking out of the box in terms of what what plan is right for your family, okay? And and I will tell you what I've been doing for 15, 20 years, maybe 20 years, uh, is an a a HSA plan, a health, high deductible health plan. It's a high deductible. There's no coverage until we've met our deductible. But the premium I've saved over the years, both as a business owner and when I was an employee, is way more than the money I've spent on those deductibles. So if your company offers an HSA plan, really, really look at that. On top of that, you can put money in your HSA and get a tax break on that money. And that's like a medical IRA. And I'm not going to get into that today, but the idea is you can save premium and the money you put in your HSA, if you put money in your HSA is deductible. Now, if you don't use it, you can roll it over and save it for a rainy day, save it for uh, retirement. So if the recession doesn't affect you, then maybe you come out of it with some money and a health plan. Now, obviously, if you're going to have some uh, medical issues this year, then maybe you want to think that differently. But my number one short piece of advice today is on open enrollment, take a very hard look at that lowest plan, especially if it's an HSA, and consider whether you yourself would actually come out ahead with that. The reason and, and the best way to do that is you, most plans have a copay for a doctor's visit, they have a copay for prescriptions, and then in the hospital you have some sort of deductible, or at least a copay, but sometimes even a deductible. If your plan has a deductible for hospital, who cares about doctor visits and prescriptions? I, I know we all care about spending money, but those are small in comparison, comparison if something happened to you, you go in the hospital and it's still gonna cost you five grand, well, why not go with an HSA that will cost you seven grand, but save you know, 50 or $75 a week on your paycheck, out of your paycheck. So, and then put that money away in the HSA account. And then if anything happens, you spend it. And if you don't, you, you still have the money. You really wanna stretch and you don't wanna say, well, that, I don't understand these plans. So I'm gonna go with the most expensive one. Please don't say that. Lots of people do that. Please don't do that. Um, I'm gonna go with the most expensive one. It's probably the best one. It's what I'm gonna do. I, my company offers three. I'm going with the best plan. I routinely see people who should not be on that plan. They don't have medical claims. They don't make that much money, but they go with the high plan to be safe, okay? So get out of your comfort zone. Look at lower cost alternatives, especially HSAs. Understand what an HSA is and how it saves you money on the taxes of what you put in, and it saves you money on the premium. You know, my opinion is once you go with an HSA for a couple of years, you'll never go back. You'll, you'll never switch from that because you'll have a little buffer built up and you'll just say that's, there's no point in me spending more money out of my paycheck for a better plan. So I hope that was helpful. If you liked the video, make a comment below, hit like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm Matt Roy with Blue Ocean Benefits and Consulting.